Back again with another motherfucking review. You know what we about to do, man. You probably don't know, but we about to do Travis Scott, Al Ferro, if I said that right, you know. But let's get into this shit right now. We about to get into track one, Meadows Creek. Meadow Creek. <laughs> if, if this is before he was famous or whatever, Meadow Creek is in... Houston somewhere, cause I I hooped against a school Meadow Creek, but whatever. Let's do this shit. Fuck it, I'm still gonna eat. I don't care. I'm still gonna eat this though. Fuck is this? Fuck, I lost my mind. Yeah. Why is he talking about dicks in his mouth or something like that? What? Sorry, I can't. Track two. Bad moods slap shit on you. Why does it sound like Yeezy so much, man? You better rap or something. You better rap, nigga. Fuck. Yeah, he can do better than this. Y'all say this is best mixtape or best, best body work? Rodeo, days before Rodeo and Rodeo is better than this to me. What I'm hearing right now, I feel like Rodeo is better. Y'all might have different preferences to me, but... My fault, man. My fault, guys. This is actually dope, bro. Whoa. He's talk okay. I fuck with it, but it sounds too much like Yeezus, man. <laughs> Let me stop. Fuck no. My fucking head hurt after that shit. That's what it sounds like, man. Rap or what is it? What, what, what kind of rap? What do you call this? He's rapping, but... Yeah, it's a different energy from it. There's different. It just feels different. It just feels different. Fucking ants everywhere, man. I like this little part right here. I like this little part right here. But overall, ugh, I don't know how to put this. Man, he need to come with some flame next track, bro. Um, Travis Scott, Upper Echelon, track three. I'm not liking it, man. Y'all said this was the best one, bro. To me, it's not. I feel like he, his style has grown so much to what a point. He's better to me, man. Okay. Rap, rap. I fuck with this man. It flies. He does, man. He does. It's not like flies in this one. But I, I guess you just see us. Dope as hell. What? Upper echelon probably is gonna be the best track on here, bro. What? Ooh. Fuck. Track four, Chaz Interlude, featuring Try You and Me. A bunch of dead people like screaming and shit. Pharaoh's concept of his uh, cover art look like Rihanna's um, cover art for this year. Uh, Anti, don't look like it. Just saying, man. 
in my in my opinion, I feel like Travis Scott's a genius music wise, man. He he created a lot of stuff. He can keep that shit on it. Um, track five, Uptown, featuring ASAP for it. He can keep that track. Um, fuck with that. That shit creepy as fuck. Why does he always sound like a demon? Is is, he, is his persona like a devil or something? This shit sound creepy as fuck. Shit. I like it though, it's not like it's bad. It just sounds creepy as fuck to me, you know what I mean? This track right here sounds creepy. You saying shit, what the fuck? Huh. What the fuck are you doing that shit for? Yeah, you can tell Ferg's, uh, Mesa Ferg flow wasn't like that good as, good as good as it is today. It was good but back then, but now it is more, way better. Um, it's getting to track six, Hell of a Night. I feel, I feel like these artists that, like, really blow up quick, I think they go, like, I think they, like, stop music for a while, and I think they leave and go study a certain part of, like, the art, or, like, a certain part of, like, something, like, some type of historical monument of something, some weird shit. And then they come back, all of a sudden, they're like fucking great at music. I don't I guess they take all the concepts and shit. I don't know, man. Because this old Al Faro, I'm pretty sure Travis Scott knew who the, who the Al Faro is. You know what I mean? Like, he probably studied that. And what he's doing is just mimicking their... You know, I don't know how to explain it, man. Whatever. Like, um, it's not like Kanye. Yeah. I like this one. Very touchy. fucking dope i like i like the ending part like how he started rapping the way he was on the beat it sounded like he was perfectly on top of the beat instead of behind it or in front of it the way he it just sounds good bro if you know what i mean uh track seven block la flame block of la flame he doesn't have many feats never mind i look down on the list of Okay. I fuck with this man. I like it. I like the little I live. He'll sell his soul for that language. What? Spend, I mean, spend his soul. <laughs> stuck in that one flow It's still all stuck in that fucking flow though Um, I like that track Black, 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 I love flame I like that shit, that shit is kind of dope Um, track 8, Naked By far, my, my favorite track on here has been Open Echelon Hype as fuck That's Naked Track 8 Originality, I, I kind of say, because I don't think Kanye did something like this. Somewhat. Back then, when he used to be Kanye. Most definitely like Kanye, bro. Most definitely, bro. <laughs> this guy got his caterings from Kanye, but you know what I mean? He kind of made it different in a sense. Um, track nine, 
Dance on the Moon featuring Theo Phileas, London, and Paul Wall. Paul Wall? Oh yeah, I forgot this nigga from Houston. I always forget Travis Scott from Houston. Because he doesn't rep Houston like, you know everybody else does. He just kind of like, okay. Why does it sound like from pop song? You better drop hard. He can keep that shit too. Um, he can keep that shit. He can keep it. Um, track 10. This sounds something like Yeezus and I me. Personally, did not like Yeezus, but I fuck it. I just listened to it for y'all. Too much going on with the beat. You know what I mean? Okay, never mind. When he start rapping, you can kind of hear, but the chorus has too much going on in it. And it's like, in my head, like, you can't do that, man. The, the suck on my eardrum. It was alright, man, but I don't fuck with that hook, bro. I don't fuck with that hook. Hey, um, track 10, MIA. Easy stuff. Man. That's what I mean? The boy be on the beat like a motherfucker. It was dope, man. I see what y'all mean now when y'all like, oh, it's better than kinda is the aspect of rapping part, rapping wise. He was all, he's going in on this shit, man. Track 11, Drive featuring James Fontler. I don't know. If that's his name. That H Town sound, nigga. Nigga got zero on that bitch. <laughs> Song, on my way, I know this guy can sing, bro. It's amazing how he sounds so much like Kanye, and it's like, what the fuck? I don't know, man. It's crazy. Uh, track ten. Ethan Wale. Right there, the intro, right there. Any song that um, Tory Lanez comes in at, like he says something really hard, like some fucking name, like Latin shit, like, you know, he sounds just like Tory Lanez right there, no, no joke. The, that, that edit. Too much going on in the beat, as I said before. Too much, go boom, there's bombs dropping in fucking um, Africa. There's bombs dropping every boom. I'm like, what, what, what's going on? I can't really focus on the lyrics. It's too much going on. Too much. Fuck, man. Track 13, Vans featuring Meek Mills. Let's see if, he, let's see if he's louder than the beats. They finna kill me in the comment section, I don't care. Meek Mills went in, I like that shit. But it was too much, there's still too much going on with the beat, but you can still, you, Meek Mills loud ass, you know you can hear his loud ass, but it was dope, man. My verdict on this shit, which I said, I believe, some of y'all, I believe in that certain aspect of what, what you mean by it being better than um, Days After, some people say it's better than Days After um, Rodeo and Ro Rodeo itself, but I, this aspect of rapping wise, is better. The production wise on, um, Rodeo and after the after, days after rodeo and days before rodeo, better production. That's the only thing that's different that that makes it better than this. But lyrical wise, and like if it was better production on this, I feel like this would be better. But yeah, I give this like a 
3.9 out of 5. Production's horrible, man. Could have been better in my opinion, you know what I mean? But, um, hey, thank you for watching. Put your suggestions in the comment section. And thank you for all the support, you know what I mean? Keep supporting me. I mean, we got bet good good things coming this 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 year. I can't talk, but yeah. Thank you for watching FTS Music. Blizzum.